In this quick tutorial, I will show you how you can display the WooCommerce shopping cart in the Divi menu. And this works both in the Divi theme customizer menu as well as in the theme builder menu. I've created two different menus. This page displays the theme builder menu using the menu module, and the second menu is created with the old default DV theme customizer menu settings. So the first step is to go to plugins and activate WooCommerce. We'll see if that will make a difference. I head back to my theme builder page and I'll refresh. And nothing really happens. We can't see a cart here in the menu, so we'll get back to that. But first we'll see what happened with our theme customizer menu. Now we actually see a cart here by default. But let's begin with the theme builder menu and see how we can add the cart icon here. So I will go to the WordPress dashboard, DV and theme builder. And from here I will go to my global header and I'll hover my menu module and I'll open the settings. So in the content tab, we have another tab called elements. So if I expand that, I can choose to display the shopping cart icon. So I'll switch that from no to yes. And now I get another option, show cart quantity. So that's the number of products or items in the cart. So I'll set that to yes. I'll save and let's also save this template. Let's get back to our theme builder page. And now when I refresh this, we can see that we have a shopping cart in the menu and it has zero items in it because I haven't added any to my cart yet. And now we can of course style this. Now it has this kind of green color. We go back to the theme builder. I can edit the menu module settings. I can go to design. And now we can change the art quantity text, change the color, maybe make it black. We can change the font size and lots of other settings here. And the same thing goes for the cart icons. So then we will open the icons tab. And here we have the cart, cart icon. We can change that to black and we can change the hover color and lots of other nice settings here. So I'll just save that and we can refresh to check out our menu. So if we go back to the theme customizer menu, there are no real design options for this. The cart will have the same color as the other link items in the menu, and there is no setting to uh, display it or hide it. We can use custom CSS for that. But as you can see, there are no item number here beside the cart, and that is something that I think you want to display. And if you want to do that, there is a thing you can do to avoid custom coding, and that is to add a secondary menu, and that's the pop bar above the primary menu. So if we head back to the WordPress dashboard, we can go to Appearance and Menus. And here I can see my different menus on this page, and I have my primary menu called Book Club. So you can see here that the checkbox is ticked for primary menu. So this will be my default main menu. Now I will click this create a new menu link because this is where I want to have my cart icon and the items number. I will name it top bar secondary navigation. And uh, let's make this the secondary menu. The top bar and I'll click create menu. So now we have to add at least one menu link item before the cart is displayed in the top bar. We can actually check it out how it looks now. So theme customizer. So you can see that even though I created a secondary menu, there is no secondary menu displayed here. That's because it's empty. I can go to WooCommerce endpoints. You can add, add any link you want here. 
but I'll go for the account details, add to menu. And I think we have a better name for that. My account. And I click save menu. Now you can of course add more links if you want to. So I'll go back and I'll refresh the page. You can see that before we had the cart icon uh, in the main menu to the right without the items number. Now if I refresh, you can see that we have a secondary navigation on top of the primary navigation. And we have the my account link that we added, the menu settings, but we also have this cart icon and we have the amount of items beside it.